Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you happen to have a Dolly channel of your own, leave me a comment down below and I'll get subscribed to you as well. Here's Miss Raina. Joe's pet nurse. She had her um, rabies distemper combo yesterday. It was her first kitten shot and she hasn't been feeling so good. So she's gotten so big. Look how big she is. There's Joe. Say hi, Joe. Hi. He's doing good. <laughs> Anywho, well, you guys, I didn't have anything for Marigold. Oh, I forgot to put socks on her. No. I didn't have anything for Marigold that would fit her for the current theme for Toddler Tuesday. Um, so instead, I decided to put her into the adorable, one of the adorable outfits that Bonnie bought for her. Um, Bonnie over at Pretty Poppet's uh, Nursery bought this super cute, um, uh-oh, Fazzy is checking out... Raina. Now, Fazzy normally doesn't get along with anybody, so I'm surprised she's actually approaching. Hi, Fazzy. Uh, is it because she's interested in Raina or interested in the hand that's petting Raina? I, oh. <laughs> oh, look at Raina touching her. Oh, Raina's touching her. <laughs> anyway. Um, Bonnie over at Pretty Poppets Nursery bought this outfit, um, a couple outfits for Miss Marigold, um, because she was my secret Santa. Don't look at my floor, guys. I need to vacuum. There's the vacuum right there. I just need to use it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I've put her in it. I honestly didn't think these jeans would fit her because uh, six to nine months is sometimes in denim, is sometimes a bit too snug, but they fit right over her big bottom. They fit right over her big bottom. Mommy, don't call my bottom big. My bottom is small. Okay, Marigold. I'm sorry, but you know, you, you, you get your big bottom from your mommy. Anyway, um, she's wearing the denim jeans that Bonnie sent and they actually fit her just fine. And then I decided to put her in the sweatshirt, um, because it's cold and I wanted her to be warm. And so she's wearing this adorable little oatmeal colored sweatshirt and it's got little flowers all over it. Bonnie sent that sweatshirt as well. And so next time I dress her, I think I'll put her in the onesie and the little, um, the little button up, um, jacket that Bonnie got her. Um, cause they're all kind of in the same color family. They're super cute. And then Bonnie also sent some really, really cute headbands and I put this little purple one on her. It's the same color of purple that's in her sweatshirt. And she doesn't have her wig anymore. And Marigold, why don't you have your wig anymore? Because Odin ate it. He ate it, it, mommy. He ate it. Yeah, yeah, he did. He he ate her wig. <sighs> it was it was pretty traumatic. It was it was a dark dark day uh, in our house that day, wasn't it, Marigold? Yes. But you know, I I don't need the wig. I am beautiful without a wig. Aren't I, Mommy? Aren't I beautiful without a wig? Yes, yes, you are. You're beautiful without the wig. I was just curious. It's like, oh, so they know about the wig then. Oh, they know about the wig. Yeah. I, one day I found it on the floor and it was torn up and Odin had. Yeah. And we don't like Odin no more. Well, Odin's been pretty bad lately, so I don't know if we like him anymore either. <laughs> He keeps climbing on top of uh, the tops of the doors, like this, like the the couple inches width of the doors in the house, and then he balances up there, and then he squeams and he squeams and he squeams for us to get him down. But it's like you got up there, Odin, so maybe you should get your fat butt down yourself too. Well, yeah. But we still help him out because he gets scared. He should be scared. 
Okay, oh, we're gonna go ahead and go. So, Marigold, tell everybody bye. Bye, guys. I love you. Joe, tell everybody bye. Bye, guys. I love you. <laughs> Say bye, Raina. Nothing? Okay. All right, guys. We will see you later. Bye.